Hi, my name is Jean Isley. I'm with the education program at the University of Washington Bothell, teaching a course this winter that I think you will find unique. It's entitled BEDUC 591, Global Perspectives in Learning and Teaching, only it covers more than learning and teaching, as I will explain. We're focused on a city in Tamil Nadu, South India, called Oroville, which is an intentional international community. This means that folks from over 40 different countries are living in Oroville with the intent of finding ways to live together and providing a model of human unity. The part of the experiment, if you will, is in working together with many, many types of people with different backgrounds, philosophies, values, religions, and coming together to form an, an international community. In Oroville, the schools practice something they call integral education. What is this? This is, this is a practice that focuses on the whole child, not just the left brain from which the test scores come, but the whole child. How, what does this look like? in Orville schools. How can I incorporate some of that into my own classroom here? Teachers who came with me last year and teachers who stayed here found that they have many, many ways they could incorporate some, some of the philosophy of integral education into their own American classrooms. So this course will study life in Oroville in an international community, in their businesses, in their schools, in their ecological advances. And while we are there, we will stay in the home of a couple, a wonderful couple, who grew up right there next to Oroville in one of those Tamil villages while Oroville was being established. We will stay right in their home so we'll have easy access to their perspective, their experience, their language, their food, their generosity. It's a wonderful place to stay while we're there. I'm taking some students with me to Oroville, but others in the course will be staying here. Students will be working in teams, working on different projects that the teams have chosen, things that the travelers will be, will be studying in the field, if you will, giving questionnaires, doing interviews, working in classrooms, working in communities in Oroville while the members of the class who are staying here will be doing research, these teams will be in contact constantly, nearly every day, over email, over phone, over Skype as well. So this is, this is a way for those of us who cannot travel to still have an international experience.